With NHL 25 officially here, we have yet to get an announcement from EA Sports regarding what new alumni have been added into the game. So in today's video, I went through the entire NHL Alumni Association here in NHL 25 and picked out as many new names that I can see added into the game that I could. However, this is highly unlikely to be a full list because I'm not totally sure about every single player in the game and who was in last year. Now, I did go back to NHL 24 to make sure that the names I'm about to talk about were not in the game, but this definitely isn't a complete list and I apologize that I can't get the full list to you as soon as EA does release that list. I will have a video here on the channel. With that being said, we have some great names being added this year. However, if you're looking for players like Pavel Datsuk, Pavel Bure, Sergei Fedorov, or anyone who's not currently in the game, they have to join the NHL Alumni Association in order for EA to add them. So until those players like Pavel Datsuk says, hey, I'm going to join the NHL Alumni Association, EA can't actually put them in the game, which, well, it sucks. What are you going to do? Now, here's a look at Wayne Gretzky in NHL 25, and you can see he has all these different superstar abilities, and he has a big zone ability. None of the players I'm going to show you here today have any of these abilities. I don't know why. And unfortunately, you also cannot see career trophies, right? So I'm looking at Wayne Gretzky. I can't see what trophies he won or anything like that throughout his career. And that goes with everyone else I'm about to show. Now, there's no doubt in my mind there will be a roster update at some point that's going to update some of these players' potentials and overalls and abilities. But this is what's in the game right now. So let's get started. The first alumni we're talking about is Henrik Zetterberg. Zetterberg is 89 overall with a high top six potential, which I think is very interesting. Here's a look at all of his attributes currently in the game. And of course, they do have all of the career stats, as well as you can even take a look at his playoff stats while playing for the Detroit Red Wings. Now, they don't actually list him as playing for the Detroit Red Wings, which is weird. And of course, Zetterberg can only be found under the Detroit Red Wings alumni. The next alumni up is Doug Waite. Weight is 87 overall here in NHL 25. A quick look at all of his attributes. And we do have his season stats and the playoff stats. Though it doesn't say what team he was on for playing in these games. That's kind of interesting. Doug Weight can be found on the Edmonton Oilers alumni. The Carolina Hurricanes alumni. But he's not found in the St. Louis Blues alumni, which is where his headshot was taken. Moving on, we have Peter Bondra. Bondra is an 87 overall low top six forward. A look at the attributes. He has great wrist shot power and speed at 93. And a quick look at his career stats. Again, does not show what team he was on when getting these stats. And his playoff stats are also included. Peter Bondra can only be found under the Washington Capitals alumni, though he did play for a few other teams. The next alumni is Sheldon Surrey. Surrey is a 75 overall with 7th D high potential. Either this is a mistake or somebody really doesn't like Sheldon Surrey. I don't know if these attributes can be considered accurate. I don't know what's happening here with Sheldon Surrey. We do have the full career stats without the team he was currently on and the playoff stats as well. Side note, they have the preseason stats here, but no data. Surrey can only be found under the New Jersey Devils collection, even though he did play for multiple teams. Sticking with players that play for both the Devils and the Canadians, we've got P.K. Subban. P.K. is an 87 overall high elite potential. And here you go with a quick look at all of his attributes. And unlike some of the other alumni here, we actually have the team listed for when he got all of his stats here in the NHL, including the playoff stats. P.K. Subban can be found under the Montreal Canadiens, the Nashville Predators, but not the New Jersey Devils. I don't know why. Another new addition to the alumni team is Joe Thornton. Jumbo Joe is 92 overall with medium elite potential. A quick look at his attributes, that passing ability is off the charts. And for his career stats, they are listed by the team as well. So we got a couple players in a row that actually show what team the player was on. And that does include for the playoff stats. Joe Thornton can be found under the San Jose Sharks collection. He is not in the Boston Bruins collection or any of the other teams that he had played for. Sticking with the San Jose Sharks, we have Patrick Marlowe. Marlowe is 88 overall with medium elite potential. Here's a quick look at the attributes for Patrick Marlowe. That speed is nuts. His career stats do indeed show the team he's on, including the playoff stats. Patrick Marlowe can be found under the San Jose Sharks collection, but not under the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Pittsburgh Penguins. Moving on now, we've got Andrew Shaw. Shaw is an 84 overall medium top nine forward. A quick look at his attributes, you can see as discipline at 65. His career stats do show what teams he's played for, for the most part, including his playoff stats. Andrew Shaw can only be found under the Chicago Blackhawks alumni. Next up is three-time Stanley Cup champion, Mike Keane. 
Keen is listed as a 78 overall medium top nine forward. And I'll give you a look at his attributes. For Mike Keen, they do not have the teams he was listed playing on for his stats. And that does include the playoff stats. It does not list the team. Mike Keen can be found under the Colorado Avalanche, the Montreal Canadiens, the Dallas Stars, but he is not found under the Vancouver Canucks or the St. Louis Blues. Another old school one is Bob Pulford. He's an 82 overall low top nine forward with a terrible headshot. Here's a quick look at his attributes and they do not have his career stats listed for either regular season or playoff games. He did play over 1,000 games in the NHL, mostly with the Toronto Maple Leafs spending two years with the LA Kings. With that being said, he cannot be found under the LA Kings alumni. Now, a player that was moved from the actual roster to the alumni this year for NHL 25 is Brent Seabrook. He's an 86 overall high top 4D. Here's a quick look at the attributes for Brent Seabrook. And they do have his season stats and playoff stats listed. Last year for NHL 24, Seabrook was 70 overall. So he's gotten a nice bump. Now he's off LTIR. So there you have it. Every new alumni that I could figure out here in NHL 25. Some big names is Zetterberg, Doug Waite, Peter Bondra. I don't know what they're doing with Sheldon Surrey. But either way, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you watching. Let me know down below what you think of the new alumni here in NHL 25. Again, if there's a full list released by EA at some point, I'll go through it and see all the new players that have been added. It definitely does feel like it's incomplete right now, Surrey being a 75 overall, no one having an ability. But it's great to see Henry Zetterberg back in the game, obviously as a Wings fan, somebody that I wanted. Now Datsuk, please sign, and Cromwell too, and Fedorov. The list goes on and on. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.